We're heading into day two of a long cleanup in Little Tokyo, where a large homeless encampment took over the sidewalks for months. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live on first in San Pedro, where crews worked overnight. Cara, good morning. Good morning, Suzanne. They certainly did. Those trucks involved with the cleanup now completely surround this plaza, uh, and that work continuing at this early hour this morning. But as you can see, some of the people who were living inside the encampment, which has been completely cleared, actually brought their tents and their belongings right to the outside, just beyond those fences, uh, and have set up there. Take a look. Overnight, crews removed remaining items as well as trash and debris. They sprayed down the sidewalks inside. Some folks who had been living here told us they were relieved to be moving into motel rooms because of problems with theft and rats within the encampment. Others said that the options available to them were too restrictive and they would move elsewhere. Crews will now work to fully clean this area before repairs are made and landscape work done. No timeline yet as to when the plaza may reopen. Neighbors and area business owners tell us this encampment started growing right after the pandemic began. City Council member Kevin DeLeon's office says motel rooms were made available for everyone here and also called on county leaders to increase the mental health help that is available. Business owners we spoke with yesterday say there has been a stark increase in crime at the plaza. Sometimes breaking the windows, using drugs, fighting in the middle of the street. And for some of them, we need the L.A. County Mental Health Department to really step up and do what's necessary to get these individuals. Because if you're running down the street half naked and you're screaming and yelling at the top of your lungs, you're not well and you need help. And City Council member Kevin DeLeon there, who is also running for mayor, initiated the effort yesterday. He defended it uh, as a group of activists picketed here, calling for changes in the way that the unhoused are treated and the different services that are made available to them. Back here live, uh, DeMarco, Suzanne, again, the work very much underway here. We'll get an update a little later on this morning as to their progress. Well, Cara, before you go, do we know exactly how many people were relocated? Yeah, the last count that we had was about 81 people out of 100. Uh, that seems to kind of coincide with what we're seeing outside. Um, maybe a couple dozen people left here with tens of belongings. All right, a lot this morning in Little Tokyo. Kara, thank you very much.